Cracking down on fake emotional support animals in apartments and rental homes. That's what one bill is trying to accomplish as it heads to the state house judiciary committee. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us what they would be for renters and landlords. When you're renting, there are a lot of rules you have to follow when it involves animals, whether it's a security deposit or a monthly fee. But a new bill is now cracking down on renters who try to pass off their pets as fake emotional support animals to skirt around those rules. Emotional support animals are a legitimate need for many people, but could some pet lovers take advantage of that? State Representative Matt Hall is sponsoring a bill that would require tenants to provide a letter from a Michigan doctor proving the need for an emotional support animal. That's why the bill will require the letter be from a doctor who's been practicing in Michigan and treating the patient for at least six months. This is meant to stop those who are trying to fake their pet as an emotional support animal to avoid fees or rent from places that don't allow pets except service animals. Chris Baldridge with the group Michigan Property Managers supports the bill. It will help weed out the people that are abusing no pet policies on many rental homes. Under the bill, faking a note could result in a $500 fine and possibly up to 90 days in jail for both the tenant and doctor. Viewers took to our Facebook page, many supporting the bill while others didn't. Melissa Petty asked if the law is really necessary. Mark Fisher wrote that it's important to fund mental health programs and assist those who need service dogs. Now, the bill is not intended for service animals trained to perform specific tasks for people with disabilities, but it does allow landlords to terminate a tenant's lease if they cannot prove their pet is an emotional support animal. There can be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. We're ripping out carpeting and everything else because of damage of a alleged, you know, emotional support animal. There are still a lot of questions that surround this bill, like how this may affect doctors in terms of malpractice or HIPAA violations, or how renters with legitimate emotional needs may be hurt by this bill. It now heads to the House Judiciary Committee. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon.